My name is Elvis Nava, and today I will present Meta-Learning via Classifier Free Diffusion Guidance, a project in collaboration between ETH Zurich, the ETH AI Center, the Institute of Neuroinformatics, and the Soft Robotics Lab. What is the goal of this project? Overall, we want to do meta-learning in a universe of related tasks. And specifically, we want to do zero-shot adaptation in weight space only using natural language task descriptors. In the image, we can see the classic procedure of gradient descent, in which neural network weights of the network FW are adapted over t time steps. And every time step consists of the application of a variation of the gradient descent process, in which we produce a gradient with respect to a dataset DI. In our image classification case, DI would consist of images and labels. What we show in the second half of the image is our newly introduced techniques of guiding diffusion over neural network weights. What we are doing is we are meta-learning a procedure epsilon that would perform a similar kind of adaptation over weights, but only conditioned on TI, a task descriptors that is supposed to describe what the task is without having access to the overall data set. So it eventually performs zero-shot adaptation. In order to test our techniques, we have to introduce a new kind of data set. And this data set is the meta VQA data set, in which we are investigating meta learning through language descriptions with a new multitask classification data set obtained by reconstructing the VQA V2 data set from Goya et al. The original data set format is that of collection of triples T, X, and Y. That in VQA are T, a question where is the child sitting? X is an image, and Y is the answer to the question given the image. He's sitting on the refrigerator. What we want to do is to reformulate this data set into a multitask class image classification data set using a group by operation over questions. So that now every task question is essentially a task descriptor, its own task in the data set. And to every question, we associate an entire small data set of tuples x, y of images and answers, so that the tuples individually consist uh, of the image classification data points. Overall, we obtain more than 1,000 tasks and more than 100,000 total question answer pairs. Here is an example of one task. Again, the where is the child sitting task. The task descriptor is the question. And now, to every image is associated a classification label. To solve this task, the classic deep learning way is that of simply training a neural network classifier on the image, like a CNN. However, if we had to do this for every task, we would ignore task information and we would potentially underperform comparing to a technique that takes into account the overall task universe. If we wanted to do a classic meta-learning solution that would be MAML, in which we are meta-learning initialization weights for our neural network using a MAML update in between training for every task. However, this ignores the specific task information. We are only adapting this initialization to the overall task universe. If we wanted to take into account the question, the task information, we would use, for example, hyper networks in which we encode the question, where is the child sitting? Uh, we would, for example, encode it with a language clip encoder and then feed it into a hyper network that produces the entire weight of the downstream neural network performing the classification. We could learn this hyper network with the same ML update as before. Ultimately, this is trained with a classic loss update based on prediction error, maximum likelihood. What we want to do instead in this work is that of approaching hyper networks from the point of view of generative modeling. We want to model a high-dimensional and multi-mode distribution of neural network weights that solve a family of tasks. This is, could be a Bayesian posterior over these neural network weights, but in practice, we don't need to formalize it as such. What we introduce in the first half of our work is a hyper-VA, a VAE over neural network weights of our entire data set, our entire task universe. This VAE is not conditional. It will model neural network weights independently of what the task is. And given a latent with H, our generator, we can produce the entire weights for our neural network. However, we are not really interested in unconditional generation. We want to perform conditional generation. And what we are doing here is investigating several techniques to perform this conditional generation optimally. One such technique is hyperclip. 
we train a hyperclip encoder of neural network weights with contrastive learning. In step A, what we are doing is we are sampling a bunch of tasks, each with their own descriptor, like who is wearing glasses. And then we are training neural networks, FW, to solve these tasks. And we are then training two encoders, an encoder for the text of the question and an encoder for the neural network weights of the fine-tuned network, such that their respective embeddings have high cosine similarity for matching pairs and low similarity for non-matching pairs, contrastive learning. Training these two encoders in tandem allows us, for example, to do task inference. In B, we can see that if we have given a certain neural network that has already been trained, given a certain number of candidate questions, we can embed all of them with our clip encoder. And then we can embed with the hyperclip encoder, the neural network weights. And given comparing all of the inner products, we could find out what was most likely the question that the neural network was trained on originally. However, we are not really interested in task inference. We are interested in generation. What we can do to perform generation using clip is clip guidance. In our case, hyperclip guidance, optimizing the unconditional hypernetwork embedding to maximize clip cosine similarity. Specifically, we take our hyper-VAE, its generator, and we are optimizing over the latent Z such that the generated weights W when embedded again with the clip encoder, have high cosine similarity with the clip encoding of the task descriptors. So optimizing over this guidance loss. Another hyperclip is interesting, but clip guidance is not state of the art for image generation. We can further borrow from the image generation techniques and what is currently state of the art is diffusion models. Specifically, we are using latent diffusion models, a diffusion model, but on latent vectors instead of network weights. Diffusion models overall work by inversing a diffusion process. So if you want to generate samples from a high dimensional data distribution X, like images, or in our case, neural network weights, we can apply the same diffusion model multiple times, starting from random noise to generate the sample. Our hyper-LDM works conditionally on the embeddings of task descriptors and denoises a randomly sampled latent Z into a latent Z that when ran through the decoder of the VA produces the neural network weights that solve our task. We compare our techniques and our variation and ablations for our techniques with state-of-the-art techniques like MAML and, and multitask techniques. And we show that our methods outperform the baselines. Moreover, we perform an experiment by dropping a certain percentage of task descriptors from our data set, questions. And we saw that uh, even dropping 90% of the task descriptors and leaving only 10, we still obtain good performance. And this is due to our two-step process of first training a VAE and then the guidance procedure, while the conditional multitask baseline heavily suffers in these settings. Moreover, we also test the classic technique, at least for image generation, of classifier free guidance this is common together with diffusion models. And we showed that even in our hyper LDM setting, it improves generations. Overall, what are the conclusions? We have developed a framework for adapting common techniques in image synthesis to the setting of zero shot meta learning. We introduced Hyperclip, a contrastive learning method that associated neural network weights with multimodal clip embeddings. And this can be used for task inference, but also for meta learning with classifier guidance. Moreover, we introduced HyperLDM, an alternative method for zero-shot weight generation. We showed that it works well in the zero-shot setting and in the low-data domain. Moreover, we demonstrate that the classifier-free guidance technique that is common in image synthesis also works for our meta-learning setting. <laughs>